six hours, six minutes, nine seconds away <laughs> from the time when the moon will completely cover the sun in North Texas. Thanks to the clock down there at the bottom of your screen. Perot Museum in Dallas <laughs> is expecting thousands of people for the eclipse. And Fox 4's Dan Godwin is live there this morning with the story. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Brandon. The last time North Texas was in the path of totality for a total solar eclipse was 1878, and it won't happen again for close to 300 years. So today really is special. Great to say hello to Linda Silver, the CEO of the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. And Linda, we, we talk about the totality, which mm -hmm. happens from 1.40 today to 1.44 p.m. But prior to that, starting at 1223, there's a partial solar eclipse, and that'll be quite something as well. It will be, and so everybody will begin to be able to enjoy the eclipse at that time. Obviously, putting on their safety glasses, that's something that's really important, and we're stressing there will be a moment during totality where we're able to take our glasses off and enjoy the full eclipse. Um, but you're right, there will be a partial eclipse, a total eclipse, and then another partial. Yes, when when the moon is completely covering the sun, yes, then the safety glasses, the eclipse glasses can be removed, but only yeah. for that brief less than four minute uh, period. Now, we, we also know there's lots of activities both inside the museum this morning and outside in the parking lot. All of those are sold out, but for example, not far by, uh, not, not, uh, not far away from us, uh, a big event at Clyde Warren Park that you're helping to organize. Right, so we have astronomers from Carnegie Science, our partners here on the Eclipse. They will be up at Clyde Warren Park talking to folks, um, doing a presentation actually on stage, and our science educators from the Perot Museum will also be in the park. We're giving out 35,000 pairs of eclipse glasses just at Clyde Warren Park alone today. Hmm. And other locations that you're helping out. The Cotton Bowl in Fair Park, going to be a large crowd there. Absolutely, and again, we'll have an astronomer out there as well as our science educators from the Perot Museum. So we're trying to deploy our resources out into the community as much as possible today. Yeah, for the last week, you've the scientists, astronomers you've brought together here in Dallas have been fanning out at a number of different locations, mostly schools, but also churches, other places to help uh, the public fully appreciate uh, what's going to be happening. Right, so we partnered with Carnegie, flew in 29 astronomers from around the world, many of them bilingual, half of them women, and they have been out this last week, mostly at schools, but also at community centers and retirement homes and businesses to make sure everybody is prepared for t today. Yeah, it's been quite an undertaking by the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, but taking advantage of what is such a special and, and unique event. So, uh, well done. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, we have yeah. a million glasses that are now out in circulation. Yes, one of the many accomplishments of the, uh, of the museum. They have, yes, distributed a million pairs of the Eclipse glasses to make sure that everyone can enjoy this event safely. Reporting live, Dan Godwin, back to you.